Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for quite an interesting news because oh boy, how many times do I see in stream Hey Pentuf, when is, insert the name of whatever tank you want, he's coming back into the shop And now I can answer finally at at least one of your requests because today we talk about the Scorpion G Wargaming, or I should say data miners, especially Alston, shout out to you, but you already see his name right there, has announced that the tanks, or I should say the Scorpion G is coming back into the game in the form of crates. Obviously, Wargaming is not going to allow you to get the tank using gold through uh, just a direct bundle. No, that would be dreaming and it's not going to happen because Wargaming knows that the Scorpion G is among the most wanted tier 8 premiums in this game. But instead, they decided to put it in containers, but let's say that those containers have good and bad sides. Let's talk straight about the drop chance of the tank, which is 4%, which is definitely not a lot, so it's going to take you quite a lot of time to get it, knowing that you don't have any charms here. There is no charms. It's not like you buy 25 crates and you get the Scorpion G guaranteed. No, no, no. You have to get again and again and again until you get it that's why in my opinion even if it seems juicy maybe that it's not the best idea to gamble and wait for the scorpion g to come again in the shop for gold because it will because it already did now for the rest i don't really care about the rewards etc what i want you to understand is that those crates are going to be are going to be sold for gold and this is something really interesting because it's going to come through pop-up offer like the smasher crates we had back in the days but if it comes in pop-up offer it's also gonna come back in the game in the shop directly so even if you miss the pop-up offer you will find them possibly in the shop but what's exactly the scorpion g all about i thought that maybe something interesting to do would be to show you the tank in the garage really briefly what makes this tank among the most wanted tank destroyer is probably two things the mobility and its gun the gun is phenomenal look at the gun dispersion man you have one of the greatest accuracy one of the greatest dpm therefore one of the greatest reload time a penetration that will not make you require to spend too much gold on gold shell and 460 alpha damage this is one of the deadliest guns at tier 8. The only downside would be probably the 6 degrees of gun depression as your tank is quite high but if you put that aside that tank has an obviously great gun. For the rest no armor at all we we're talking about the Scorpion G which means that this tank is meant for good players and people that know how to move on the map that have map knowledge etc because otherwise you're gonna get completely crushed it's definitely not newbie friendly I really want to insist on that before you spend your gold again and again on those upcoming crates and finally the mobility that is insane maybe i should show you uh, the stats with the right uh, engine 55 kilometers per hour definitely enough for you to do the job this is how i'm equipping my tank by the way and now let's not lose too much time and jump into some replay so the question is why would you want to get this tank why would you want to acquire that tank in your garage first thing first since this tank had been released it was always at the top because thanks to its ability it can adapt itself to the playstyle to the map and to the team you are fighting or the team you are against and this is something really interesting with the scorpion G because not too much premiums are able to do that aka the kv5 which became completely power crept now one thing that is interesting to notice about this tank is the fully traversable turret which makes it really versatile and can allow you to change the play style from time to time if needed what i mean by that is that with the scorpion g you can play like a sneaky medium or like a traditional tank destroyer here in this replay for example i'm gonna play like a sneaky medium and you're gonna see that i got quite lucky and you need some luck from time to time with this tank because every time someone shoots at you and the shell hits you they are gonna penetrate one 100% even with HE because as I told you you have a glass cannon or you are I should say a glass cannon but otherwise what makes this tank different the play style what I mean by that is with this tank what you want to do is either sneaking around like I can do uh, like I'm gonna do after during this replay or stay with the rest of your team like a traditional tank destroyer you camp in the back you wait for your teammates to take the shot for you you poke around the corner you put an amazing 460 alpha damage shot and you go back to a safe position unfortunately I'm not really familiar with this side on this map and you're gonna see that I'm gonna do a huge mistake that is gonna cost me nearly all my hit points right now I decided to push thinking they can't shoot me from there but yes they can and I acted like 
a really big noob here because oh boy i took 900 damage in a row this is the downside of that tank and that's why i'm telling you that this tank is not meant for everybody with this tank what is really important is to know where to place yourself and to know how to handle critical situations for example here if i didn't know how to play i would have died already here instead i'm using my mobility to catch up with the rhm before he managed to turn his turret which allows me to get the kill i see there is the defender and the and the uh, the Indian Panzer. What I want to do right now is sneaking a shot as much as possible on the defender, killing him, and now taking care of the Indian Panzer. And this requires some skill and some knowledge of the game, some experience that you shouldn't acquire when you are a newbie. Except, of course, if you are re-rolled, but we're not talking about this kind of newbie. And overall, that's pretty much what you want to do with the Scorpion G. You need to make yourself invisible to the eyes of your opponents by taking a bush, by making sure that they think you're not a threat, by maybe making them think that you are running away, but in fact you're just circling. This kind of tactic, you gotta play it really sneaky. It's, it's the way, let's say it like that. It's the way of the Scorpion G. And you are gonna get punished for every single mistake. I have another replay for you to clearly understand that, so let's jump in. Something you really need to understand when you're playing with the Scorpion G is learning not to be greedy. Because when you are greedy with this tank and taking risks, you are, let's say, in 95% of the cases, going to get punished severally for being greedy. And you're gonna see that perfect example right now against the ISU-152. Let me explain, I'm like, oh, you know what, two seconds of reload, I'm gonna sneak a shot real quick and go back to a safe position. I already lost nearly all my hit points and I'm now a one shot to the whole enemy team within the first minute of the game. And that's why I really wanna insist on the fact that this tank is not meant for everyone and it's definitely for pros or for really good players because otherwise, yes, you have a really good gun but if you don't know how to use it and you don't know how to place yourself on the map, you are going to be completely useless and you're not going to even make credits with it because obviously as a premium tank, if you want to make credits, you need to do a good game. So yeah, when you're playing with this tank, always make sure that you are not the main target of your opponents and try to avoid getting in direct contact with tanks that can hit with 640 alpha damage because oh boy, if you do guys, are you going to get completely smoked? Most of the people know that this tank is likely armored, which means that most of the time when people shoot at you, they're gonna shoot with HE. Which means that you, artificially, let's say that you have even less hit points than traditional tank, because when you're gonna encounter, for example, an IS, uh, IS-3 tank that has 400 alpha damage, when he shoots at you, he's gonna shoot with HE and therefore 500 alpha damage. And this is where this tank has to, be, uh, has to be careful and you have to be careful as a player to play correctly. Hopefully you enjoyed, guys. I don't have anything else to say about that tank. I don't know yet the tank of the release of the event. All I can tell you is that it is coming. We don't know yet when. It should be within the month and if it's not this month, it's going to be in the upcoming month but i think it might hit the game before the 28th of april which is the date release for the 7.9 or 8.0 update i don't remember uh where, in what update we are right now but i think it's 7.9 because if it was 8.0 wargaming would have made a big announcement or something like that if you enjoyed feel free to subscribe like and share and i'm gonna see you soon for a new video probably in the afternoon bye